Hi guys, PJ here. It's the 28th, it's a Friday and six o'clock BST. So basically Zor has just arrived. As you've probably gathered by now, he's in the EDZ. So if I just quickly bring up the map for anybody that's new to the game, we're gonna basically spawn in down here at Winding Cove. So if we go destinations, just to cover everything guys. So there's EDZ, look, you go straight to there, straight to Winding Cove, spawn there. And we're gonna travel over here. It's one of his more regular joints. He's, uh, he's, he's here quite a lot sort of thing. So let's just uh, wander over and see what he's got this time. Hopefully something, something good. We shall see. It's not been too bad the last few times. I've quite, you know, quite liked some of the stuff he's had. On the Hunter this time, I don't... Well, I haven't used Hunter in probably, wow, I don't know, maybe a year now. I sort of favour Warlock myself. So uh, if my jumping's a little rusty, guys, you know why. It's because I don't use the Hunter. Criminal, I know. Anyway, there's two ways to get to Zor when he's here because he's up at that ship up there you can either do what I'm doing jump up the cliff or you can go around and there's a path which I will show you very soon I just think this way is a bit quicker but you know you don't have to I'm going to have to get rid of you guys so here he is here's Zor overlooking everything but like I say there is another way you can get to him this way just quickly run around and show you okay so we're here look yeah this stuff was shooting at us earlier on so you basically down on the main road here look go away yeah so there's the road that we were on and we jumped up and basically we go up here the tunnel is just up there that we've just dropped dropped down from near this enemy spawn point like i say the road's over there so we are going to jump back up to the tunnel and run through and the enemies have respawned yet again okay anybody else yeah there's one what's he got okay agent of the nine what have you got okay let's start at the end here we go we've got I'm not even going to try and say this, guys. This is a veil. Yeah, I can never pronounce these words, but still. This particular one has a weird art style. I like the front of it, but you know when you turn it around? Yuck. I don't like that at all. What do you think? Not good. Moving on. Immediately regenerates health, melee, grenade, and rift energy upon activating your super. Nearby allies recharge class abilities faster. So it's not a bad perk if you think about that you're immediately getting some health back some melee some grenade and rift energy and you're buffing your team a little bit so you know actual spec wise it is an all-rounder so it's worth trying it okay it's just i think it looks a bit ugly but hey as far as exotics go it's not bad it's worth having a try see if you can do a build around it so 23 shards if you've got the shards give it a go it's not that bad, it's not top tier, but it's not rubbish. Then we have, I can say this one, ACD Zero Feedback Fence. Oh, I think I got that right. I always want to say ACDC, never mind. Titan Class, let's have a look at it. Now this particular one, melee hits build energy. Being struck by a melee attack reduces incoming damage and unleashes the energy in a devastating explosion. So in other words, it uses their own force against them. I like the look of it, it's weird, it doesn't really match much, so if you've got other Titan armor, you're going to struggle to make this match and sort of fit in with the rest of the armor, just a personal thing, I do like it though, it's a little bit, I was going to say Mars, but yeah, we've only got some planets left now, um, it's ability isn't great, I've actually used it and the incoming damage unleashes the energy and devastating explosion, it's not that devastating, so not that impressed by it i'm gonna say leave it save your shards on that one lucky raspberry oh, he's had this tons of times this is probably one of the most common ones he's had he's had it recently as well increases the chaining ability of arc bolt grenades and has a chance to recharge it each time it deals damage a full chain always recharges which is very good if you're using arc bolt grenades but if you're not it's useless so i think it looks naff so i'm gonna say leave it guys it's uh, pretty limited in what it does 
Then we have this. I haven't seen this in ages. Sweet business auto rifle. It's like an old fashioned Gatling gun. Yeah, you know, like you get the crank handle and your Gatling guns. And that's exactly what it does. Large magazine, increased accuracy when firing from the hip. Picking up ammo for this weapon immediately reloads it. So that's handy. You don't want to faff around reloading. Um, it does sort of spin up. It's not got brilliant impact, but you know, for an effect to try it out, it's pretty interesting to use. It's different. So I'm going to actually say try it. I mean, it's 29 shards. He hasn't had this in a very, very long time. So I'm going to say give this a go. It's not the worst gun in the world, and it's certainly interesting to use. So guys, you've got, yeah, go with the gun. Uh, definitely not with Lucky Raspberry. Not brilliant either, and give this a go even though if I think it looks a bit weird. As for this one, of course, your exotic engram. If I preview this on my Hunter, it's probably going to show a load of stuff I don't own. Let's have a look. Shall we have a go? Oh, then again, maybe not. Okay, anyway, guys, if you haven't got ticks across the board and you're doing collections, you need to basically, you know, buy them if you've got enough shards to do it. And as for what I think the Hunter should wear, because last week I covered Warlock, well, you're sort of looking at it. And yeah, they're Stompies. That's the exotic for this Hunter. And yeah, they've got the, the uh, nice look on them there, which I will quickly show you. I'll go over Titan next week yeah so here we go there's your stompies look and if we go down turbo kickers on tomorrow and there we go and that's it for this week thanks a lot for watching bye for now